What's up everyone? Today is giveaway day. So I'm gonna try to capture the day from start to finish. Uh, my friend uh, Tommy Farrell, Tommy F. Yeah, YouTube channel is coming to hang out. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk JDM, we're gonna talk about the Civic, the Civic project. We'll also probably do a live stream podcast. Um, and then I've got to run up to, uh, I'll probably bring you along for this, uh, run up to the new, uh, or new old, the building that I bought for the gym that is going to become uh, OG HQ Distribution Hub. So yeah, I've hired a boatload of people to respond to you know all your inquiries and everything that people need. Uh, make sure we can get orders out in an extremely efficient and quick fashion. Uh, and so we've had a leg up, uh, and so I'm taking the taking the risk that we're going to continue this and uh, hired a bunch of people, uh, actually six people yesterday, to um, three packers, one tech support aid, another sort of hybrid customer service role, and then a another picker, you know, someone to help us uh, get our barcode scanning and uh, and you know getting the warehouse as efficient as possible but in order to fit all this stuff we have to move so uh, I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit here today but first thing I'm gonna do is gotta go get the M5 out of the bubble and uh, put the uh, the OE parts in the trunk uh, and then we're gonna take the car over to HQ I need to wipe it down and check the tire pressures and uh, just get it you know get it set up for Jose uh, I chose him yesterday, I pulled him out of the hat, and now uh, he's flying down from New York today. So uh, I'm going to keep him out of the warehouse so we don't, you know, just, just to keep, keep them away from all the people. And, uh, and we'll probably have the car all set up in the parking lot and we'll shoot him, you know, taking, taking possession. He's going to drive it back to, back to Queens. So anyway, let's, um, let's go uh, get the car set up. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Ah, he just bit the screen. Oh man, it's getting sparse out here. I'm gonna be down to two cars today because the uh, GT3 is over at uh, Billy's shop. Ryan's doing the PPF this week. So I gotta sell this bubble. The uh, I bought this just to kind of test it out and take some photos of it and have some have an experience with it, so I know you know what to tell people when we sell them. But it's certainly certainly viable and works really well you know keeps the car super clean keeps it dry but uh notice i got to be down to one car out here the civic doesn't really count uh yeah it feels both good and bad and uh, like i feel like i don't have any any choices all i have is the m3 which is super dirty which means i'm gonna get to spend some time with the m3 and get it get it dialed in, get it up to standard. So uh, I gotta make the GT4 video because uh, GT4 is coming. It might lock here in a week or so. But yeah, M5's in here. Let's get it out and pull it out around front, load up the OE parts. It's kind of bittersweet, you know. This car is great to have, but again, I just have too many cars in my life. So it's gotta go. The dude's getting a legit M5, that's for sure. Yeah. It's pretty clean, but I think I think we'll do a quick O and R wipe down. Just add a fresh coat of dressing to the tires. I'm finding that with the new tire dressing, I do need to apply it regularly to keep that look. So you're going to require some maintenance, which I'm sure some people are going to complain about. But you know, I like the look, so I'm willing to work for it. So you just put it on once every couple of weeks. That's all. But, yeah, the car looks legit. Real, real legit. I still have never figured this out. He's going to have to chase this a little bit. The mirror caps make a little bit of uh, wind noise, which drives me crazy. So he's going to have to figure that out. I got him 99% of the way there with this thing. Good thing it has a giant trunk. We're gonna load this thing up with a bunch of stuff. It's a wrap. Gonna stop and get some gas. And um, send it on its way. 20,255 miles. Fit all the stuff in here easily. But yeah, this car's legit. 
garage yet. We're all gassed up, headed over and pull into the garage and clean it up. Do quick vacuuming, quick interior wipe down. But man, there's three dudes at the gas station. No one ever comments on the cars when I own them. Now that I don't own the thing, people are like, oh man, that car's awesome. Like no one has ever said one thing to me since uh, when I owned it. Now that it's not technically mine anymore, that's the way it goes. I was like, yeah, the guy's coming to get this thing today. I just gave it away. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, we sold a bunch of shirts and posters and stuff like that and a bunch of detailing surprise, supplies and a uh, guy bought a couple grand worth of stuff and he's uh, coming to pick it up. So I'm gonna go sign the title and uh, get the car prepped and ready to go. All right, just gotta move the Civic. Uh, I also got to get this crap out of the way, I guess. I've got to um, unbox. This is a Silver 390, which is a 20-gallon version of my Fiaca. Uh, a couple here locally actually bought it and allowed me to bring it here. So I paid to ship it here, and then they're going to come over from... Uh, they live in Apopka, so then they're going to come over and get it from me. But it's the... Uh, we're doing a dryer and then the 20 gallon tank they just don't have room to do the 80 so that's what we're going to do all right let's move the civic out uh, all the wheels mike's going to take them down michael michael lava is going to take them down to sean's shoot video of the uh, wheel install that the third set of tires so there's one set another set i have over there uh right there so the third set of tires should be here for the three sets of wheels so we'll be able to kind of play with those of course, all the hard race suspension stuff is here. Uh, I'm waiting on the Moton, uh, and we'll find out, you know, if I end up doing some other parts outside of hard race, but I wanted everything so we could we could figure out what works. Uh, we gotta shoot an install video of the, of the wall air in my dad's garage and get that up in the store. There's a, a Mugen, Mugen pedals, the City Light kit. For the new headlights and uh and then oh uh, leo made us a uh little si emblem for oh there's the k-tech shifter stuff and then the hybrid uh hybrid racing shifter to we'll try those out but uh, leo made that for uh to give away with the car but the uh headlights look freaking awesome just got to get the bulbs figured out get them figured out you know about uh you know the level and adjust as much as we can and um, I might do some I'm gonna tr try some different bulb ideas it's so funny how uh, how opinionated uh, 20 year olds that know nothing about anything are telling me how to do it so just watch me bro watch me give me a little time and you'll uh, you'll come around to the idea here but man this car looks good uh, I gotta get these gauges out of here and I don't know. I gotta start figuring out what, how I'm gonna get those white gauges off of here. But exhaust number two is already ordered. I'm thinking I might order a spoon exhaust too, but the window tint is awesome. There's something about this car, this M5, when I'm sitting in another car and you see it, and you see it rolling down the road, it just looks so much cooler. You know, when the headlights are on and it's super low and looking super tough, and you know that it's faster than what you're driving. It's pretty freaking cool. We'll see what life looks like, but I'd love to get rid of that darn wing and get the uh, get another OE trunk. Just think the car looks so much better without it. I know it does. It's gonna be fun to do wheels. I think I think 16s are gonna be where I settle. The 16 CE 28Ns will probably be my favorite on the car, diamond black. But we're gonna play with some different options. Desmond Rega Masters. Spoon SW388s, if they come. I haven't heard anything from Nengen and stuff I ordered. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it would be interesting to see how the RE30s look like. Uh, like look on the blue with that kind of weird bluish silver that I got. Okay, so there's the title. Now, the way that you do this is the top comes off. I send this to the state of Florida. So I send the top piece away. I don't do anything on the back because that's if you were a dealer. And you just fill out the front and sign it over to him. And then he'll take this bottom section of the title with a bill of sale that I'm going to go draw up to uh, the state of New York and register the car. And that's all he really needs. So that's how you give a car away to the next person. And then we'll issue a 1099 so that I get the 
you know, we have to you know, write the car off. So I should 1099 for 65,000. Uh, that's the number we, you know, sort of settled on with the state. You have to, you know, in order to be legal and do this properly, you have to make sure that you're, you know, following all the rules, if you will. As to what, you have to assign a value to the car, uh, and so that value then will, you know, dictate what what we issue for him, and we get to write off, and then he has to pay tax on. Uh, and so that's kind of how how it works. But uh, let me drop a bill of sale, drop the, uh, the title here, and uh, show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, I'll keep, I'll keep a little far away so you don't see everybody's addresses, but uh, I filled out and signed, filled out his name, address, hill, um, and a date sold, 519. I filled out the back of this. I'm gonna send this into the DMV. That releases me uh, from liability. That'll render, you know, by the time it gets there, it'll render the plate useless. I'll call insurance once he gets home. So I'll probably call my insurance uh, probably tomorrow, the next day, cancel the insurance on it, and then that transfers the title. He'll take this stuff to the DMV and, uh, and register it. So I'm going to go mail this off. I have this ready to go for him. He'll have to sign it, you know, and um, um, I usually don't fill out the odometer. Or any of that stuff, um, we'll, we'll let uh, they usually do that at the DMV because sometimes they're finicky, finicky about that. So you would put the mileage on it in presence of the DMV. So my desk is needs some attention. I need to finish the wiring, and so I finally got all the stuff from Amazon to start you know running wiring through the chase. But I've got to I've got to get my mic boom figured out. Um, but some people, uh, Devin just sent me a. Uh, a production diagram, just an idea of how we could set up the new building. Uh, and so we're going to be going up there today. This is super helpful, Devin. Thanks for that. And um, also, I get this from time to time. Um, Jillian asked me to uh, wish, his, uh, wish her husband, Anthony, a happy birthday. Uh, I have a hard time with this because I hate happy birthdays for myself so anyway uh hopefully he'll see this the happy birthday and anthony and now this is going to open up a whole crap storm i have everybody wanting me to do that so don't do that she was just super nice and super persistent so uh, anyway i'm going to prepare some o and r and uh wipe the m5 down uh, first i want to vacuum it out let me show you what we're going to use for that so flex has an extractor vacuum well, my guess is the best vacuums are going to be actual you know dual purpose extractors so I have this one, this is the 33, and then they have a VCE 33. They also have a VCE 44, which I have at the house. It's big. Uh, I've got to sell this Singer Cell Rand. So if you want to buy that, um, you're local, let me know. I'm going to sell that thing, get it out of here, shoot me an email. Uh, I still have to do a little bit of tweaking. Uh, there's one fitting out of all of our loop. There's one 90 up there that's leaking. So I've got to go and either reseat or replace that. Uh, so I got to get that set up for uh, for to get our airlines run, up and running. Um, but the Flex also has. I've got all these accessories that I've got to figure out what I need, what works for the vacuum, uh, and then we got to figure out what bags and all of that. But uh, I want to use it. I haven't used it yet. Sort of play with how it works. Oh, this drives me crazy when this stuff starts to build up. So I need to reorganize the shelves and get ready to uh, start bottling. Uh, but this is all, all the accessory stuff that came that I bought. I bought every part and piece that Flex offers for the vacuum just to figure out what, what adapters, what parts, what pieces, what bags, what stuff we actually need to make this thing function. I guess so this is a bag that I did buy. This is a... Uh, I guess the bag for, hmm, I don't know if this is long life filter sack, resealable filter bag. So anyway, I gotta play with this stuff and figure out what fits the vacuum. All right, so we got handle. I got all the accessories. To make this, I wonder what this thing is all about. We got carpet cleaner or something, but I don't have that tool. But I do have the little holder and then we got these little top mounts which hold a box or something, but I don't think we'll ever have a box on top of it. And then I got you know, the various filters for each each um, vacuum. They have, looks like wet bags, and then I have a long-lasting 
filter sack, meaning that you can just dump it when needed. So I'll, I'll use the, I have a paper filter in the, in the box. Once that's done, a disposable one, then we'll swap over to the long life. And then I've got all these suction adapters. I need to figure out which one we need. There's a 32, 36, D25, 32, and a 27. And then I've got all the various tools. So there's an interesting little grouping, grouping of stuff that you may or may not need. Oh, I guess putting this, yeah, it probably makes sense to put this on, leave that on permanently. But uh, yeah, the vacuum's pretty good. It rolls real easily. It's pretty heavy, but the hose is a good length. And then I was kind of playing with some different attachments on there. But, uh, you yeah, know, real interesting vacuum. So I'm just going to wipe down the interior with some PNS interior cleaner, green towel, and uh, the interior is ready to go. Put a little Angel Wax Bliss in there. Uh, we're vacuuming the trunk a little bit. And we'll send it off. Just doing a quick uh, O&R wipe down. You know, the car is relatively clean. So just a uh, you know, single towel at a time. Don't revisit the bucket. And uh, just going through, cleaning it up. Did the roof and the windows. Just gonna do the front clip in the back. And JDM bro here yeah. is here to chat I'm it up stoked. about. So these are just stuff. stock arms that they repress pushing into? I, or I what? guess, it looked like it. Them. It looked like it. That's awesome getting all brand new stuff. Yeah. Not that it wasn't already it's, brand new when you started. Oh yeah, yeah, you moron. Why are you ruining a good uh, JDM car? Yeah, why are you car? ruining a good EM1 then? Yeah, why are you ruining it? Why don't you get a crappy one? I don't do crappy Everyone people. Everyone always says that. You Idiot. could just spend twice as much money as making it as clean as it was when you bought it. <laughs> right. They don't get it. Yeah, well. Skinny mess right here. What do you got? Oh, yeah, bro. Time to get Skinny legit. Mess. So, you got the tire dressing on. I'm going to go show Tommy next door what we're up to the operation here. Yeah, so we got the guys in the entry, someone upstairs, <laughs> pack, packaging <laughs> stuff. Um, we're gonna go. I want to go pick all the stuff. We're gonna try to fill up the M5 trunk with as much stuff as we can. Uh, I hope he doesn't have a big suitcase. We're gonna fill it up with all the all the detailing gear. I'm gonna show Tommy around. Show you him. hope he doesn't have a suitcase. The place we look funny. I hope he doesn't have a corona. <laughs> so when we first moved in here, this was the only so we had this side, and so. Six weeks ago, my stuff was here. Oh, my really? The so that must be what I was yeah. talking about. I was like, it looks so this, that's like 1,600 square feet. This is 2,000. Um, but so we didn't have any of this racking just a few few weeks ago. Wow. And we are cool. totally cleaned out. I mean, it's just insane. So the problem is now is suppliers don't have enough stuff. And so this is where we do all the packaging. We're about to tear this apart. And put some longer packing tables. Serious um, operation. Yeah, so we have. Um, I hired six people yesterday, so this is about to double. Wow. We have to. We're, we're 1,300, 1,400 orders behind. So, what can I pull to put in the car, detailing wise? Take what I want. Have it. Have it. No, I wish. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to congratulate you. So what can I pull out of here? Do you think um, we'll start taking stuff? I'm going to fill up the trunk and we'll figure out where it falls. I'm going to put it on the table over here. So we're going to get them loaded up. Right, so we need some car shampoo. Definitely need some good makers. Let's see. Oh, we found some Adam's rubber finger. Give him some of that. Huh? Give him some Get rid of this? Alright, we'll give him some of this. We can use that on the tires. It's a great product. Give him some wheel cleaner. Give him some of that. Let's see what else we need. We need the interior. Interior cleaner. We need um, wheel stuff. Wash pads. We need some all purpose cleaner. Actually, two ounces, probably all I want. Once we diluted, 
Maybe a hyperdrive sink. The engine bay in the future. Who's lucky to do, uh... He won't need hides because he's doing some decon stuff for his future uh, deconning needs. He might be selling his current car. I'm going to have to polish that up. He needs some aqua clean. He definitely needs some leather clean stuff. Let's see. He needs some leather cleaner. Leather milk. Visible glass, 30 smooth windows. We need some wheel cleaner. Let's see. Shoot, are we gonna be able to fit this all? I think we can. We're just have to be real strategic about how the box all this up. Hope he doesn't get pulled over. <laughs> some sort of chemical. Yeah, right. So chemical chemical, George chemical <laughs> Hazmat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Did I get an O and R over there? I'm going to get all the sprayers at the end here. We need a credit brush. We need two of these guys, raceways. Tough shine, oh boy. I think these are coming. These are these. They're these. grand worth of stuff, aren't they? Way more than that. Really? Lambskin mint. I bought a ton of those and I'm scared to use them because I don't know what each one's for. And they all work for anything. You, know, you can use. I just like them for certain uses. Do you have like a microfiber cleaner? Soap. That's what Micro Restore is. That clear thing right oh, there. Okay. That thing right on the end. Is it like heavily concentrated or just? Yeah. All right, so we'll start with this and we'll see, see what we can fit in the car. And then, um, yeah, this will be good. I got O and R there, yeah, I got O and R. And then the rust stopper. Let's get him a Phoenix light, that would probably do. He's gonna like this stuff. Yeah. Yep. That's a couple like 80, 90 bucks worth of stuff there, something like that. Alright, I'm gonna get all the sprayers and then uh, I guess I gotta write all this stuff down. And then we'll go 
we'll see if we can fit it in the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put two more packers in here, just to hold this over until we move to the new building. Yeah, these things are always open. But this is the, uh, we'll, we'll record a podcast oh, cool. in here earlier. So this is where Chris does all the business stuff. So he runs all the, you know, pays all the bills, accounts payable, accounts receivable, you know, hiring, you know, HR. Like right now he's working on um, some sort of, uh, yeah, this, the, so that's the giveaway package. He's doing just a study of, um, one of the things that messed up our inventory is that I didn't have all the inventory of all these packages that we created. Uh, and so we're trying to figure out. Even like one pack is like so like, let's say for instance, someone bought a starter polishing package. I didn't actually have all that stuff here. Oh. Uh, and so we pulled and shipped the stuff out of inventory, but because I didn't ever want any of the, the giveaway stuff to run out of inventory in our system. So I didn't want it to say out of stock. Right. And so even though we didn't have it, I wanted to be able to sell it. And we called it a pre-order so that people could, you know, we'll get it to them when we get it to them. Right. Uh, and so those are some of the stacks right there of okay. packages that, you know, now, now you know, it's kind of a perfect storm of getting product from suppliers. Oh, it's not right. that we can't pay for it. It's that we don't, they don't have it. Right. Uh, and so we're bringing in everything that we can. You know, every day, you know, trucks are rolling in with all kinds of stuff to try to support it. These are so nice. Yeah, these are from a company called Yellow Tech. This is like the industry radio standard is a Yellow Tech Mika. Uh, but they're really hard to buy. You know, they're hard to find. Oh, yeah. Like, it's hard to figure out what you need to, you, to, to, to do. They come unterminated, so you have to terminate your own XLR connections and stuff. Oh, really? So, yeah, but they're they're the best stands. I bought that kit you suggested, and yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, the little, little, mu- the little roadcaster yeah, thing. All, it's just all, it's, like, I have it in the truck. Like, I can yeah, just pop have up and pop roll. Pop-up table. And yeah. It's awesome. Is that a JDM truck, bro? What's that? Is that a JDM truck? Yeah, JDM American, what do they call that? Uh, I think it's Nisei. It's what is it? What is it? There's an LS swap in that thing. LS3. Yeah. With head, tech speed heads and cam. Makes 470 wheel. <laughs> That's Just a good shop truck right there. Yeah. That's it. Do you have what to put like big. traction bars in the rear or something? Some you sort should. of different leaf springs or yeah, something? I didn't do it. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Sway bars help a lot with like wheel hop. Yeah. But it's awesome. It's like my favorite <laughs> daily. And like. And you, you drove this all the way down from Connecticut? No, I trailer. Uh, I have. Uh, uh, the day after we finished it, I towed a car. From Connecticut to Florida, yeah, and uh, it did it flawlessly. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, you also drive it. Shoot. Experience, you know, econo like trucks. <laughs> People love to see you drive this thing a little bit. AC doesn't work. She's gonna roll that window. Oh shoot! You left it's, that it's, part it's, out. It's getting, it's uh, getting installed now that I'm down in Florida. Oh yeah. But the roads are cold, so the tires spin in Connecticut. Yeah. They don't spin as much here, and I huh. took third gear out pretty bad with that. Oh. Yeah, but I replaced it. Oh, so it's already fixed? Already fixed. I use all the oh. Sonic tools. Aren't these automatics? No, so this truck stock comes with this trans. This is a stock four cylinder transmission. Yeah. Uh, but it's using like the Solstice, the Slingshot, yeah. and the Colorado. And uh, it's held up okay. But it makes 470 wheel and it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Nice shop truck. Picking up engines and stuff. Is there a lot of cops around here? Eh, not usually. Did these stock brakes? So what did you do yeah, on Yeah, stock brake. Right now, then so I built another truck and I wanted to be, make more power and do stuff, and every time I would like go to upgrade something, my setup wouldn't work. So like I wanted to go to a Ford 88, so I would stop blowing the rear end. And I couldn't use the six lug wheels anymore. And I wanted to, uh, you know, just do stuff like that. Like the tranny wouldn't hold the power. The engine has like 90K, so. Here, I'll hit it quick. <laughs> just spins the tires. <laughs> but, uh, so every time I'd want to upgrade something, it, I would have to change my whole setup. So I, I just bought another truck, put everything into it. That's this truck. And I have a, my, my first truck I'm going to make. Yeah. Put CTSV brakes on it and 488 and all that stuff. T, uh, TR6060, get rid of this tranny. But yeah, it's, it's pretty drivable, you know? Yeah. I have almost 500 horsepower and an originally four cylinder truck. Is this stock suspension too? Uh, this is KW's. Okay. Which is weird. Beltec 
Kate will be about Bell Tech and yeah. that's what this is. <laughs> I don't need any more cars. I'm trying to get rid of them. All right, so we just met with David, and um, he gave us some ideas. He's going to introduce me to a metal building contractor that he knows that might take the job. That's the key. It's too small to be small and too big to be big, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just wrong. It's the wrong project for anybody. I want to take this door off. I want to change that door. Put a door here, bullpen for a, like a big conference room for all the tech support people, two bath, two new bathrooms, a kitchenette on the back side of that, and then it would be all of our racking likely, packing in the corner, production and uh, bottling here on the side, and uh, you know, and then we would fit this whole place, every square inch of it would probably eventually have racking and humans. Humans running around, sending out cool stuff to people. That's the goal. So I gotta get this into there. Think we can do it? Yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah. is this trunk huge? Yep. This is a fancy trunk, so. It'll, oh, I don't have to touch it. Yeah, it'll take it. Oh, take you've it. already got a full, though. I don't know if you do that. I know, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm gonna line the gallons up. I can kind of flip this up, I think, and line the gallons yeah. that way. Anyway, let's get it in there for him. We jammed it in there. We'll find out if he doesn't want the rear thinger. We'll just punt that. And uh, that way you can put the back seat up and not have to roll. Although the exhaust sounds a little better. Yeah. Get a little more, a little more, a little more drone. Yeah. We'll ask I'm him what he wants to do. Like, like everything closed up. I, yeah, I do too. Well, especially when he's driving a thousand miles. Right. Yeah. Load it up. It's good. All fit. So we got all our labels, temporary labels. I mean, we're having a, not a label company print. It's just like a local sign shop. You know, a vinyl company printed some temporary labels. This little one's sick. <laughs> yeah, a little eight ouncer. Let's throw it in the trunk. Cute little guy. That's nice. Oh, this is what it looks like with it. Yeah, a little, little, little pea shooter. That's sick. And so we're gonna stick this thing in the, in the in the hole up top there and start sucking it out. So think, what do you do? Oh, think, you, that's awesome! You just put I think we need to mix it first. Oh, yeah. I think right. you need to mix this. I think we should. You yeah. Need like a big ass shaker. We've got a mixer thing. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna get my dad. Ask him. Do we really want to run water through it first. I mean, a lot of schmutz came out last time, so I don't know if you want to like clean it first. Mix it up. That does smell good. I mean, this won't be a perfect stirring solution, but it'll at least keep it moving around. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Bottle number one. Future OG bottling operation. Not a lot of pee-pee dribble on the uh, on the thicker stuff. I'm gonna have to go get a bunch of these because I'm gonna put it all underneath here. Oh boy! Whoa! Yikes! A little spicy. Mike, what are you doing? Is that the? That's our first gallon. First gallon. That's the large economy size there, man. That's a over. I already thought we'll need a drip bucket. Counter sunk aluminum. Like a little. With a drain on it, with a valve. Uh, we'll, like. we'll need just like a little, like a popcorn little bowl. Like a dog bowl. Dog bowl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, let me go get some more cardboard because I don't want to. Let's think about what we have. I'm going to ruin my whole darn operation here with so tire dressing because it's slick. Oh my oh. god! Uh, Dang it! This is going to be a disaster! <laughs> Don't drip it on the floor. That's what the cardboard's for. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. um, first drip. God Let me dang go get it. Some towels. I need a bucket and a uh, prayer. Wasn't me. Oh boy, yeah. this would be better if I don't see this stuff. 
I just came and I'm like, look, we got it all figured out. <laughs> you had to clean all, you had to pull out all the Swiss tracks, pull, you clean out the whole. those plastic trays with like a lip on it, like huge. So you have the label. Ten like, by yeah, like a big bucks. shower basin looking Don't tray thing. Don't they make them for detailing cars? Oh like yeah, the like the little water uh, catch thing. Yeah. The problem is going to be stepping on the box that's covering the floor and then walking around. That's the part that I am not too. We need like one of those things like oh, a little Mike, step. Oh, Mike, don't stand in it. Don't go, oh, God. Okay. You were saying? Oh, we're gonna slip slide everywhere. God uh, dang it. Okay. It's so the worst thing ever. He's doing all outside. We decided are we gonna label first or label second? Label second. I'm gonna label second right now. We're gonna see how it because we'll see what the bottle feels like. Oh. A little bit of liquid in it. You have to be real precise there, Grandpa. I see that. These are our temporary labels. Looks pretty. I did it better than you, Mike. Yeah, I know. I designed them. I don't put them on. That was pretty good. It looks really good with the blue and the blue, you know, the blue baby blue yeah, stuff. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't say that. And don't drink. Self-explanatory. Causes oh, serious eye irritation is the only thing it says. So, just don't get it on your face. Uh-oh, three people. You guys gonna fit? We supposed to do with these things? How's it going? What do you What do you think? Whose idea was this? So you're Jose, right? Yeah. Okay, good. A little hotter here than New York? Oh, way better. <laughs> Feels amazing in here. <laughs> so how are you gonna keep this thing in Queens? You have another place? Yeah, we got a small storage area where we have a little bit of Okay, garage. got it, got it. Yeah. All right, let's open it up. I got it clean. It's clean and ready, as you might imagine. Wow, it's amazing. Come on in. Yeah, it's legit, dude. It's super legit. And I fill up the trunk with a bunch of stuff for you. Yeah, so. It's sorted, man. The, um, you know, we have 12 millimeter spacers up front, 10 in the rear. You know, it's super low, but it's, you'll see it, it actually rides and handles better than stock. You know, normally when you lower, there's a trade off, you know, and but the nice thing about five series cars is that, you know, even in New York, you'll probably be fine with the front lip, you know, and then since IND's front lip doesn't sit super low, it should be good. And then, you know, they're brand, the black wheels are brand new. So, you know, I bought these new from ECS Tuning. So they have um, uh, Crystal Serum Light and EXO on them, so they're coated. And that has the new tire dressing, which you can smell. You smell the tire dressing in here. So it's the new, and you're gonna get bottle number one of, uh, of the OG tire dressing. You know, black grills. Uh, this is the first car I discovered. You know, IND does the painted surround around the BMW emblem where this is normally chrome. Yeah. Just a little, little touch yeah. that you know, I think I think makes a big difference. Um, painted reflectors, so you don't have the amber reflectors. Uh, carbon fiber mirror caps, the shadow line, the black, black looking, um, you know, side. I like IND's version because these are painted black instead of the, the you know, the black chrome yeah. stuff. Um, the carbon ceramics, super legit. Um, so, you know, it has a carbon ceramic package. And then, what do you think? Do you like the hot boy lugs? Or yeah. um, are you down with that? Or are you going to remove that first thing? No, no, they, they look good. They look good with the, the calipers. They really, they really match. It's Sweet. amazing. It makes it stand out a lot, the wheel. Is my favorite part of the whole car is the steering wheel. So, dining pedals. I bought brand new 5 Series floor mats. Uh, I swapped out all of the brown trim for piano black. So this is, you know, IND, black painted, piano black trim. Um, has 3D, 3D um, aluminum pedals. I also did the hot boy uh, switch for the yellow uh, M1, M2 button and the, uh, and the you know, start stop. I think it looks cool. Um, Bang & Olufsen has uh, rear seat entertainment, which is old school DVD, but... It, you know, it's the BMW factory option for rear seat entertainment. Um, what else do we do? Obviously, pink corrected the whole thing. I mean, you can feel super, super clean. So, you know, it's been, you know, three, I think I did, I think I did two steps on this, two, two, two step paint correction. 
We have, uh, I did the, uh, you know, the M Performance rear deck spoiler, the two-piece RKP dine-in dine -in exhaust. Uh, oh, the other thing that's super cool, you got to see the intake. The intake's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. So we, we might want to, I'll ask if you guys want to do, so I have the, I think the sway bars will fit, but if you want to ditch the rear balance, then you'll have the whole back seat. So it'd be up to you. If you want to take that piece, so that 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 gray yeah, yeah. piece. Oh. If we pull that out, then you'll be able to put the seats up. If you want, it's up to you. If you want to take it with you, you can. Um, you got to see the intake. Yeah, the intake is super sick. I don't think it actually does anything horsepower-wise, but it looks cool. Yeah. So, dining intake. Um, it has also AMS. Thermal wrapped and ceramic painted um, catted down pipes, so you should pass inspection. You know, with with catted down pipes, so it probably makes somewhere around 620 horsepower at the wheels, around 650 foot pounds of torque. Um, so it should be super legit. If you go and do full full cat list, then you could probably get about 700. You know, 700 wheel without doing a turbo upgrade. So it has an active auto work stage two tune which cost me a lot of money um, but it's pretty pretty sweet uh, all uh, you know all the windows have been tinted the windshield is tinted with uh, expel prime plus uh, prime XR plus yeah. something like that um, unit n r7 is in the uh, uh, so that's in the um, uh, for radar detector so that should keep you out of trouble on the way home hide it in Virginia when you're driving through there. Oh, okay, okay. Don't yeah. get caught in Virginia with that. Oh, if our, the carbon fiber, we did the carbon fiber um, shift knob. I think that's about it. Just a couple of things. Just a couple of things done. And so I know you bought a lot of stuff, but I wanted to make sure you had a supply of detailing supplies. So I got you loaded up with, um, you know, one of a bunch of pretty much everything that you'll need. So you got you a bunch of microfiber towels, wheel wash, wheel cleaning, got you some uh, some scan grip lights, um, and um, a car washing wheel cleaning package, decon package. And then I want you to have number one. This is number one. We'll put a cap on it. But that literally, we literally just pumped it like an hour ago. So it's sitting over there, my dad and Kyle and Mike and Bryce are trying to figure out how to pump it. So, you know, we can have, we can have number, bottle number one. And we'll, uh, I'll number it if you want. But that's a scoop, man. It's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, you know, I, this was a car that I, you know, I always wanted one. I always wanted an M5, um, but I didn't, you know, I didn't have the means to get one. But you know, doing this, making the channel, and you know, and creating all this stuff has created a reason to create, you know, make this kind of stuff. Yeah. And so, you know, I was gonna I actually, I don't know if you saw, I listed it for sale. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And I was gonna lose my shirt. Uh, you know, I'm a hundred thousand. No joke. Like ninety. Chris told me he's like ninety six thousand dollars into this car, and um, and and so if I sold it, I was going to sell it for like fifty something. Uh, and so to get get it to someone like you, or you know, appreciate it, you drive it, sell it, part it out, whatever you want to do with it, it's fine with me. Um, but to give it to somebody who you know who wanted to kind of play the game with me of creating this this thing. Um, I tell you what, I, I like it much more rolling down the road. It looks so f tough, you know. You, know, you got Grandpa Silver with black. Just looks so, I think, so cool. And like, just like the little lug nuts and all the things, and like the the rear splitter when you when you drive behind it. Like my wife would be driving, and it just looks nasty. Yeah, yeah. So, so the valves will. There's a valve exhaust. The valves will open. So generally, you know, the way I have it set up is you know, double tap M1. Uh, and then you know, double tap M2 would be the more aggressive setting, but you, you'll figure it out on iDrive. You can change all the, all the settings and everything, but it should function and ride just like stock, you know, uh, except for just with more horsepower and, yeah. So I looked at the title. When I bought it at 17,773 miles, it now has 20,200. So I haven't driven it nearly enough. You're going to drive it more on the way home than I've driven it since I bought it. Yeah. So. <laughs>
<laughs> but I do live one mile down, you know, from from my house. So, so yeah, it's uh, it's super cool. And then this is powered, so you just press the button. The doors, if you ever have kids, supposedly this is a real issue. You got to be careful because they're soft closed doors, so they close themselves. Um, I don't think they're, the only thing you're going to notice, which I haven't figured out, is these beautiful mirror caps, they whistle. So it's, you're going to think that there's a leak. Well, it's the mirrors, they whistle. So I'd say I'd, I'd deal with the uh, carbon fiber to deal with a little bit of whistling for to make it look that cool. But yeah, I mean, we steam the brakes and, you know. Yeah, I saw all the videos. <laughs> the very beginning, I saw them all. I was like, wow. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're getting it. It seems a bit surreal. Like yesterday when I was doing the, you didn't watch the live, were you? I was waiting the whole time. I was like, oh, what's Timothy gonna do? What's Timothy gonna do it? And I don't know. I was like, just started cleaning the house and everything. And then, I don't know. He just told me. You I missed like, it. <laughs> that made it better for me. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, you caught me off guard. Um, that was the plan. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Have you driven a DCT car? No. There's not much to it other than there's no park. So when you hit when you turn it off, it goes into P on its own. Oh. Um, if it ever doesn't go into P, then you just let, let go of the gas and hit it, or you can put the parking brake on in the middle. Um, but uh, you know, I find myself driving this car in the auto mode. You know, so M1 auto mode, I find it to be to be the best. But you know, you can paddle shift it as well. And the aluminum paddle shifters make a big difference over the factory plastic ones. So what do you think? Do you want that? Do you want the rear? Yeah, yeah. And just leave the seat down? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Then we'll leave it in there. The sway bars are in there too. And then there's a box with the OE suspension and OE top hats and all that stuff if you ever wanted to go back to stock. But, you know, the Dynans could go a little bit lower, but you could also raise it up if you find that, you know, driving around the city and it's beating your face off, then you could... You know, you could you could raise it up a little bit pretty easily. Right. Yeah, it's freaking sick, dude. It looks good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's a it's a twenty thousand mile car that like a regular dude owned before. Not he's not like us, you know. And so um, it was a Kentucky car. And uh, a couple of guys before, I think one was a, like a, he was a home builder. The other guy was a doctor. And so it's a, you know, it's a statesman car. This is going to uh, upgrade your, uh, your street cred on this thing. It's a, it's a car for a, I want to, you know, I don't want to be an old man yet. And so we try to make it super tough, super cool. I think it, I think it foots the bill now. Because I couldn't find a car that had Bang & Olufsen and, and carbon ceramics in like a crazy color. And I'm, I'm really glad it kind of turned out because when you see Silverstone in person and it photographs so well, it, I think it turned out great. I'm just excited in the videos we can get rid of that real annoying intro music that we have now. Oh my gosh. I don't like that. So what are you guys going to do? Are you going to drive straight or are you gonna, where are you going to stop? Are you going to stay somewhere? Well, we're probably thinking about stopping that way. Well, yeah. Having a rest right now. We left like at 7 or flight. 8. Yeah. We got a layover in Atlanta. Mm, yeah. You got to send me the invoice for your flights. I don't want to pay for that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let me give you the title and the keys. And we'll get everybody to stop looking at you. So I... <laughs> title. This should be all you need. You take this and the car to the DMV. Yeah. You, you know, pay, you've bought cars before and you pay sales tax and that's how it goes. Okay. Two keys. Key one, key two. Wow. And that's it. The only thing I don't have, the guy, I don't have a manual for it. So there's no manual. I don't know if he forgot to give it to me or what. Oh, okay. But you can find all the stuff online. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it online yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything you'll need is available online. But yeah, man, it's it's good. I'm glad you got it. And you won. Um, well, we had a guy who bought like 
he, how many entries did he have? Yeah, so we had one guy who had like a one in eight chance to win, and you wow. and you you won. So he bought a bunch of like he bought like what fifty of our coding packages or something like that. So so grand or something, like that. so like yeah yeah. You want me to pull it out for you? Yeah yeah. So you don't have to have to worry about it. It's a wrap, everyone. Say goodbye to the M5. It's been a good run. That's so cool. I'm so pumped that good people, both times, the giveaway, I've lived such a charmed life of having all of you follow along and, you know, thanks to Jose for you know coming all the way down here to get the car and hope he has a blast with it. Um, man. It's great to be able to tell the whole story, you know, from start to finish. And hope to do the same thing with the Civic and any other thing that I do where I pour my heart into it and chase chase functional excellence. I wouldn't call it perfection, but call it excellent. And so, we did it with the 1M, we've done it with the, uh, the M5, and I'm going to do it with the Civic, and that's the, that's the plan. So, thanks to Tommy for coming to hang out. It's a crazy day, action-packed day. Um, I'm gonna try to get home and try to run to the gym tonight. It's about six o'clock and uh, the gym opened up here in Florida. So, man, what a great experience. Like I said, like again, again, like I said, thanks to Jose for participating and helping support me and helping support things like this so we can make something great. So, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for coming along today. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. We got more coming. Catch you soon.